Hey everybody, so in this video, this is part 7 of the Aruba ClearPass TACAX Plus configuration. And in this one, what we're going to do is we're going to set up the Cisco Nexus. So right here, Nexus switch, set that up for AAA authentication. It's a little bit different. There's a bit of a wrinkle in this, but I'll walk you through it. All right, so first thing to do is go into configuration. We're going to take the service and we're just going to make another, we're going to make another copy of it. So I'll just copy this one. Copy. Go into there. Service and we'll call this Nexus. So this is going to be the Cisco Nexus TAC Axe. So the connection that we are, so we can get rid of these actually, or let's go into one of them and we'll change this to, well, let me figure out what it is. All right, so we're going to do this core switch one. So let's get in there. Admin. Okay. And we're going to use the VLAN 5. That's the management VLAN, so 10.155.2. Okay. Let's go back here, 10.155.2, other one in the trash. Okay, authentication, either one, looks good. Rolls, fine, enforcement. All right, so this one, I believe this one is the one we wanna change. Cisco, so I think what we're gonna have to do is create a copy of this. Okay, so at this point, let's save this. We're probably gonna have to change that. Let's go into the policy. So we have Cisco. Admin, we have by VIOS. Let's actually make a copy of this. We'll copy this one. I just went into that one. I didn't want to go into that. Let me go into the copy. We're going to rename this one. Yes, this is what we want to do. So we want to rename this. Let's rename it. Uh, we'll name it Cisco Nexus. And the reason we have to do this, let's save this. So for Nexus, you see the Cisco Priv 15. Let's go into that profile. We've got Let's find that Cisco Priv 15. There it is. It, there's is that the same one? Hold on, let me double check that. Cisco Nexus TACX. Yeah, okay, that was right. Okay, just making sure I wasn't seeing things. So here's TACAX. It gives the shell 15. That's not enough, though, for Nexus. Nexus needs a... I'll show you what it needs. It needs a roll. Okay, so if we go into this one, it sends a Cisco AV pair. The shell rolls 
and network admin gives all access. And so it has to have the 15 privilege level plus this network admin or else it won't work. So that's why we have to create a new policy. So if we go into Nexus policy, we're gonna go into here. Oh, we have to go to enforcement or uh, rules rather. Go into here, edit the rule, and we're gonna change this. So remove that one, remove that. And we're gonna add the Nexus, more choices. Well, that's okay. That's actually not what I wanted to change. Let me fix that. Let me cancel this. So that's correct. That's the right action to take. But down here, the profile name, we want it to be Nexus. And we want to remove that one. There we go. That's what we want to see. Let's do the same for the other role rule. Yeah, that's that's what we wanted to do. So remove that, add the Nexus one, save. Okay, so now that's right. So we've got the enforcement. We created the service. We did not reorder it. Let's do that. Nexus, we'll put it up here, third position. Save. We have to add the device. So Cisco Nexus, 9K. So this will be 10.150.5.2. And we'll use Cisco 123 again. And this should be Cisco. And I don't care about that. Okay, so now we have Nexus 9K defined. So this actually, this is interesting because this will step over. I don't, I think it's going to use this 9K one. We'll make sure that it does though. But that's interesting because we do, we have, this is more specific than this one. So it should use this. All right. So that's configured. Now let's go back to the 9K. And let's configure that and close this ASA. Okay, so 9K. So show run, let's do a show run. And the first thing you're gonna see is the feature, right? The feature is not there, there's no tack ax. So that's gonna be something we have to add. Um, so let's do that feature and we have to add that obviously config T feature back X plus. Okay. So we're enabling that. So once that feature is enabled, then we should be able to do the rest tack X server host 10. 10.150.5.20. I think that's what we want to do. Key, key, Cisco 123. Triple A group server. And the reason we, we do a group 
is because usually you're going to have two of these. You need them for redundancy, so that's why. Clear pass underscore tack axe, and then we're going to define the server in there. All right. And now we'll just do a triple A authentication. Login default group clear pass tack axe triple A accounting default group group clear pass tag axe okay and then we'll do this tag axe server direct it request and then tag axe server timeout 60 and copy run start let's see if this works do we have ssh and i don't know if we do have ssh enabled on here i let me see. I, I'm not sure. SSH. Um, so this should be Chris R at 10.150.5.2. Okay. Yeah, it's 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 enabled. And there we are, and then we can do a show run. We can't. So the role did not come over. I can tell you that because this is what you would see if the role is not configured properly. So this is using, let's see, let's see what's going on. That's interesting. Access tracker. So we've got TAC, this is it. So it's using the Nexus TACAC service the request looks fine. Authorization attributes, admins, yep. Policy, Nexus tag acts. Look at that, that profile does not look right. So why did it give us that profile? So, okay. So use the right eight. So let's, let's take a look at this because it gave us the wrong profile. And this is what you would see if you don't send that role, you're going to see the same error right here where it says you're, you're able to get in, but you can't really do anything. I mean, you can't do a show run. You can do some things, but very little. Okay, so let's let's look at this. Okay, so it's got to be the policy. So the policy that we're using, let's let's go, let's start at the source or the service rather. Start at the service. Nexus tack axe. Tack axe plus service. Uh, I think I never I didn't never change it. I never came back and changed it here, right? Let's look. Roles, enforcement, there, that's the problem. Change that to Cisco Nexus. And that should do it. Save. Let's just make sure this one is Cisco Nexus. Yeah, I didn't change that. So that's why, well, it's it's good to see that error. That's the error you're going to see. Configuring TAC acts. All right, so let's exit out of here and try this again. All right, so I'm in. I 
And there you go. Now, see, we're getting that roll, so, and we'll check it here and clear pass. Go to monitoring. Access tracker. Let's look at our last one. Policies, Nexus, Attack Axe. That looks good. Shell Exec. Yeah, so there it worked. It gave us the right thing because we had the right policy. It's coming from 1510. Yeah, everything looks good. Authorizations. Yep. Did we get any author, any accounting records? Let's see. Okay. So I think that's that's it for Nexus. So we've configured TACAX on the a switch or a, a router, either one, really. We did it on an ASA, and now we've done it on the Nexus switch, which is a little bit different. So thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful.